the Large Hadron Collider, the most recent addition to the CERN Accelerator Complex, is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. It works through superconducting magnets, and is based in the European Organization for Nuclear Research in Switzerland. The Large Hadron Collider consists of a 27km ring of superconducting magnets, with a number of accelerating structures to boost the energy of the particles along the way. CERN, the European Physics Research Center, recently upgraded the Large Hadron Collider. The upgrade comes years after the Collider managed to provide scientists with answers to a riddle when it confirmed the Higgs boson exists. CERN currently has 23 member states, but as of right now Russia is not a former member of the organization. However, Russian scientists make up many of the scientists at the CERN complex. It's estimated that around 12,000 members work here, with a thousand of them being Russian. Pretty much all of us are now aware of what's going on in regards to Russia and Ukraine, and Ukrainian scientists have just announced that they're not happy with everything that's going on, and requested that CERN halt cooperation with Russian scientific institutions. CERN officials said the following, The 23 member states of CERN condemn in the strongest terms the military invasion of Ukraine, and deplore the resulting loss of life and humanitarian impact. Deeply touched by the widespread and tragic consequences of the aggression, the CERN management and personnel along with the scientific community in CERN's member states are working to contribute to the humanitarian effort in Ukraine and to help the Ukrainian community at CERN. End quote. CERN's member states also said they would support Ukraine scientists and researchers and that they will suspend Russia from observer status and said they would not begin new collaborations with Russian institutions. The CERN Council continued with the following. The situation will continue to be monitored carefully and the Council is ready to take any further measures, as appropriate at its future meetings. The CERN Council also expresses its support to the many members of the CERN Russian scientific community who have openly rejected this invasion. CERN as the leading scientific laboratory should terminate immediately any cooperation with Russian institutions, because otherwise every crime and every injustice made by their government and their armed forces is seen as legitimate. We call on a democratic society, on scientific society to stand with us against this tyrant, Russian President Vladimir Putin. End quote. Most comments in regards to this post followed the same theme, with residents and researchers within this field saying that they've had enough of it, and that they just want to get on with their lives. One researcher said that both Ukraine and Russian scientists don't want to get involved with it, saying that they don't want their jobs or research to be impacted, and that they want all of this to end as soon as possible. This isn't the only company to announce it's cutting ties with Russia, and as of right now it's left people with various different opinions. For example, a few days ago Netflix announced it was going to shut down its service in Russia, and this led to thousands of comments on the post. One person said the following, The hypocrisy of the US and other countries in regards to this situation is astounding. I'm not going into detail, but we are aware of what the US has done in the past 20 years. Or should I say, are people aware of what the US has done in the past 20 years? This is the problem when you start doing stuff like this and throwing around accusations. People would then bring up what other countries have done and gotten away with. It just becomes a mess. Another said the following. I don't think this helps the situation. It's just isolating the people further. If you have no connection to the rest of the world through the multicultural Netflix shows, then all they're left with is what their own government is trying to tell them. While well, this person said the following, Those actions are very significant, and for those who are saying that the Russian citizens shouldn't suffer because of one person, maybe small steps like this will cause more people to be aware of what Russia is doing right now. Every small step matters right now. 
another person said the following. I'm still not sure about all of this, and to be honest I just agree with most of the comments saying that they wish all of this would end. These actions may have a negative impact, and Russian citizens may look elsewhere for support. Who really knows what's going on right now? Every day more theories are coming out of the woodwork in regards to what's happening. For me, I just hope all of the innocent people are kept out of this as much as possible, and I think it's better to keep the Russian people in the loop, and not make them feel alienated. So what do you guys make of these comments from big companies, and how they've said they've stopped doing business in Russia? And do you think CERN should stop working with Russian officials because of everything that's happened? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.